Hi, everyone. This is Mrs. Pearson, your elementary ELL teacher. Today, you're going to do an oral retell for Second Grade Journeys Lesson 20. And our anchor text or story is Dex, the Heart of a Hero. So for this lesson, we're going to turn and talk. That means I'm going to ask you a question. You're going to think about your answer. Then you're going to pair up with a partner at home, or you can be my virtual partner. Then you're going to share out your thinking in a complete sentence or sentences. So Dex, the heart of a hero, is either fantasy or reality. And fantasy is things that cannot happen. Reality, things that can happen. So the genre or type of literature of Dex, the heart of a hero, is fantasy. And here are some of our fantasy stories noticings. A fant fantasy stories are a make-believe story. There are magical places. Magical things happen. Animals might act like humans, like Dex is acting like a human, but a human with magical powers right there. Animals might wear clothes like Dex. There might be monsters, aliens, or dinosaurs. Animals might be extinct in real life. There can be, there can be events that can't happen. And the story might be funny. Dex, the heart of a hero, is definitely a fantasy story. And it's definitely funny. So here's our learning target. I can retell the, the important parts of the story. Dex, the heart of a hero, using pictures, words, and sentences. Success criteria. That means how will you know you're successful at retelling the important parts of the story, Dex, the heart of the hero? Well, here are your steps to success. We're going to take it one step at a time to reach this learning target. Number one, you're going to answer the talk about it questions and talk about the important parts of the story. Number two, you're going to say and match the characters and setting. Number three, you're going to say and match the lesson or moral of the story, what the characters learned. Number four, you're going to put the retelling pictures in the correct sequence or order. And then finally, five, you're going to say and match the sentences to each picture, saying what happened first, then later, and last. Just a reminder about our turn and talk rules. If you have a partner at home, number one, eye to eye, knee to knee. If you're my partner, remember, first I talk or first one person talks, the other person listens. Then the next person talks and the other person listens. I may not be able to hear you, but I hope you say your answers out loud. Um, and do not talk too long on your turn or your partner will not have a turn, have time to have a turn. You may agree with me or your partner and say, I agree with you because, and tell me why, or disagree. I disagree with you because, and tell me why. Let's review our vocabulary words because when you answer questions about the important parts of the story, you may use these important words in your answer. Depended, needed that person's help, relied on someone. And the yellow uh, highlighted word is a synonym. Relied is the same as dependent or depended. Number two, sore, painful or tender. So another word for sore is tender. Number three, sprang, suddenly moved upwards or jumped up. Another word for sprang is jumped. Studied, spent time learning or learned. Another word for studied is learned or even to read. Number five, gazing, looking at it for a long time, looking closely. So gazing is looking. Number six, hero, someone admired, a superstar, someone doing something brave. Another word for hero is superstar. Number seven, exercise, movement to become strong, physical activity. Exercise is movement. And number eight, overlooked. Didn't see, didn't notice, 
missed something. Overlooked is also missing something, missed. All right, so this is the first important event. You can reread about it on page 168 of our textbook. Look closely at what's going on in that picture. How is Dex different from the other animals? Different. Contrast Dex with the other animals. How is Dex different? And then, how is he the same? Or compare. Compare and contrast. How is Dex different? And how is he the same? So, Dex is different because he... So, tell me how he's different. Dex is different because he... And he's like the other animals because... Well, Dex is different because he is a dog. And um, I notice that Clevis is a cat. However, now I'm looking and I see that there's other dogs and even a mouse. So Dex is different because he's small and he's chubby and he's long and people... Uh, and he uh, doesn't hang around with these other other animals. And he's like the other animals because A, he's an animal, he's a dog, and Clevis is a cat. And I also see other dogs. And they all have fur. So, how do you think Dex feels about the way the other animals treat him? And how do you know? So, look closely at his facial expression. So, I think Dex feels... I know this because... Well, I think Dex feels, it looks to me like he feels annoyed or irritated, maybe even a little sad or mad. He could feel all those things because his eyes are telling me he's like, really? Why are they laughing at me? And then I know this because I can see it in his facial expression. And I know that he uh, has goals and he he doesn't want to hang out with these uh animals that tease him because I don't think it makes him feel very good. All right, here's our next major event. You can reread about it on page 170 to 175. What goal does Dex set for himself? What's his goal and how does he try to change? What goal does Dex set for himself and how does he try to change? So Dex wants to, so he starts to, well, Dex wants to be a superhero. So he starts to train, he starts to exercise and work out, and he studies about what superheroes are supposed to act like. He studies all different types of superheroes. How does the author make the story like a comic book? How does the author make the story like a comic book? And why do you think the author does this? So look closely at the picture. The author, and she does this because... Well, the author makes the story look like a comic book through the art. It looks like comics. It has different panels and different actions are happening. And um, the, the characters stand and act like heroes in a comic book. And she does this because um, heroes, superheroes, are traditionally in a comic book. And like Superman, Wonder Woman, um, Spider-Man, uh, all those su superheroes, they originated in comic books or graphic novels. You can reread about this on pages 176 to 179 to answer these questions as well. What is Dex doing? 
So how has Dex changed since the beginning of the story? So think back at the beginning of the story, Dex was, and then now what, what's happened? So at the beginning, Dex, now Dex. So how has he changed? So at the beginning of the story, Dex was uh, out of shape. He didn't exercise. He was chubby like or plump like a stuffed sausage. And he could barely just walk around. But now Dex has muscles. He is strong. He has lots of energy. And he's helping people. He's helping them get uh, wallets. He's he's tracking down bad guys. He's helping people with things that are broken. So he's become a hero and a helper. So what does it mean to be a hero? Is Dex a hero? So a hero is, and I think Dex is or is not a hero because... Well, a hero is someone who helps people, who um, uh, puts their lives um, second and helps other people, thinks of other people before themselves. And I think Dex is a hero because he's helping people. He is looking out for people who are honest and true, and he wants to catch the bad guys, and he wants to help anyone with a problem. And a hero is definitely a helper. Here's our last major event. You can reread about it on pages 182 to 189. What is Dex's idea to get Clevis out of the tree, and does it work? What is Dex's idea to get Clevis out of the tree, and does it work? So Dex decides to, and well, Dex decides to um, go on a teeter totter and have everybody else jump on the opposite end of the teeter totter, and he stands at the opposite end and he gets flung up to the tree. And then he gives his cape to Clevis so that Clevis can float down like a parachute. So he decides to get flung up to the tree by having all the other people jump on the teeter-totter. And he springs up to the tree, flies up to the tree. And it works because Clevis takes his um, cape and floats down like a parachute. And uh, Dex just slides down the tree because cats uh, have a tendency to be afraid to come down trees. And Clevis is a cat. So why does Clevis change his mind about Dex? And do you think Dex forgives Clevis for teasing him before? So why does Clevis change his mind about Dex? And do you think Dex forgives Clevis for teasing him? Well, Clevis changes his mind because, and I think Dex forgives or does not forgive. Well, Clevis changes his mind because Dex actually puts Clevis's life before him and he's brave and he he decides to help Clevis even though Clevis has been very mean to him and has teased him. So Dex showed Clevis that he was a good dog and a good friend even though Clevis didn't treat him right. 
So he's like, wow, Clevis is really a nice person or nice dog. So I think Dex forgives Clevis because when Clevis asks if they, he can be a superhero with him, Cle Clevis says yes and allows him to be friends. So he does forgive. So now we're going to orally retell the story using these sentence frames. So I'm going to read the sentence frames and you say that say the rest out loud. Complete sentence. Retell of Dex, the heart of a hero. The main characters are, or the most important characters of the story are. So say it out loud. Well, the main characters are Dex or Dexter and Clevis. The setting is, where does the story take place? The setting is a city. So the main characters are Clevis and Dex or Dex and Clevis, and the setting is a city. So now we're going to put our pictures in the correct sequence or order first. Look and see what's happening in that picture. Then, what happened later? And last. So first, Dex was, who was Dex at the beginning of the story? First, Dex was Well, first, Dex was a little dog shaped like a sausage that was overlooked by others. Clevis, the cat, made fun of him. Then, then Dex wanted, what did Dex want to do? Dex wanted Well, Dex wanted to be a hero. So he studied and did a lot of exercise. Later, he got a red hero suit with a green cape. Later, Dex sprang into action. What did he do as a hero or superhero? Later, Dex sprang into action. Well, Lex, Dex the hero, sprang into action and helped others. Everyone called him Super Dog. Last, what happened to Clevis? Last, Clevis got... Well, last, Clevis got stuck in a tree. Dex sprang into action again and rescued him. Clevis asked to be a hero and partner with him. In the end, Clevis, Dex and Clevis learned how to blank and be friends. What did they learn? Well, in the end, Dex and Clevis learned how to trust each other and be friends. They learned to trust each other and also forgive. Dex especially forgave Clevis for being mean to him. All right. I want you to think about, oh, it says sign maker's assistant. I'm sorry. I'm going to do that right as I'm thinking. We're going to go to, uh, what was the story called? Dex, the heart of the, heart of, of a hero. Sorry. So I changed it. I can retell important parts of the story, Dex, the heart of a hero, using words and sentences. How do you think you did retelling the story and answering the questions? Would you give yourself a four? I could teach this lesson. I easily answered the questions and retold the story using sentence starters. Or would you give yourself a three? I was able to answer most of the questions and retold the story using sentence starters. Or would you give yourself a two? 
I was able to answer some of the questions and retold some of the story using the sentence starters. Or would you give yourself a one? I was not able to answer the questions and did not retell the story. So how do you think you did today? Four, three, two, or one? All right, everyone. Thank you for retelling the story with me and talking about the important events. I had a great time. I hope you did too. Have a great day.